Hey everyone, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of Leo. Uh, the monthly readings are up, so if you haven't checked them out, you can check those out um, <clears throat> with the Reiki and the energy healing at the end. But today we're going to talk about what is blocking your intuition. And I'm inspired by this reading to do this reading because I have a workshop coming out on the 31st of March. It's going to be a live three hour, if not a little bit more activation of your third eye and crown chakra. So um, we're going to activate it. We're going to, we're going to clear it. We're going to meditate. We're going to, um, we're going to activate it. We're going to talk about how to use your intuition, what it feels like, um, how to protect your energy, all this good stuff. So if that sounds interesting to you, the link is in the description field below and also in the comments. So look it up. Let me know what you think. And let's get into why you intuition might be blocked right now. And remember, these are general readings. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. You can also let me know in the comments how it resonates and if you like this spread. Okay. Um, so improving health. You guys are slacking. <laughs> I'm a fellow Leo. I feel it. I'm like, wow. Okay. That's completely true. Improving health. So I feel like there's just a lot going on for you guys where you're not putting yourself first. You're not working out. You're not eating healthy. Um, you're just go, go, go. And you're not taking the time to take care of you. And when you don't take care of your body and you're tired and exhausted, um, it's harder to connect to your intuition. It's harder to hear those little whispers that are coming through. So look at your health, look at what's happening right now. Some of you might even have like more of a sickness, you might be sick um, and it's just harder because you don't feel good and you know when you're sick and stuff your vibration is lower. So you want to make sure that you're taking your vitamins, you want to make sure that you're working out, you want to make sure that you're eating healthy um, and I'm taking that advice as well guys. But yeah, so improving your health. You also have some forgiveness here. This could be forgiveness of, for somebody else, or it could be forgiveness for, for you, or it could be both. Somebody might have done something to you, right? I mean, who the heck doesn't? So there's definitely people in your life that have done something to you to hurt you, and you might have to forgive them. If you're constantly sitting there and you want revenge and you're thinking about how you can get back at this person, like there's no way you're going to be connecting to your intuition at that point because you're lowering your, you're lowering your vibration. So there needs to be some forgiveness. And I always say like forgiveness and letting go, right? Or letting go. I, I'm not fond of this word. But for others, it's like letting go of what happened and releasing yourself from the attachment. And forgiving yourself for not knowing what you know now back then. So for both, forgiving people and forgiving yourself. And once you do that, you're going to open up your heart chakra and it's going to be easier to connect. And take action. If you want to connect, take action to fix these things first. And then if that resonates with you, um, but you also have to take action. You know, you have to practice it. There's a practice there. You have to exercise it. It's like a muscle talking about working out over here. It's like a muscle. You've got to work it out to make it stronger and make it easier to flow through. And you've got to just keep working at it and, and don't expect overnight results, right? You go to the gym, you don't expect to lose 20 pounds in one day. So, um, but you've got to take the action and they're telling me consistent action, it's not just a one day event. Well, mine will be, but <laughs> you have the recording to go forward with it to activate you to the next level every single time. All right. Um, let's see one more card. Oh, there you go. All right. So you've got shame, divine healers. So some of you might be shaming yourself because you can't get this. You can't do it. You know, everybody else, it's so easy. Maybe you're in a class and everybody else it's working for, but not you. Um, so you've got to let go of the shame of not being able to connect. Um, they're also telling me like you want it, want it, want it. And you got to let go of that as well to surrender. And that's what we do in the workshop. We do a lot of Reiki so that we get your mind and your body in the state of relaxation where you just like surrender to the divine. And when you do that, then they come through. And you'll be able to feel it. But 
you can't shame yourself for not being able to do something other people can. You can only compare yourself to you and who you used to be. Nobody else. You're not on the same journey. You're not on the same path. Everybody has different ways, even with connection. Like everybody has a different way of connecting. Not one person's going to be the same. Not one message will be the same. If I connect to a spirit and some other medium connects to the same spirit, they're going to see things differently. It's never going to be the same. Another reason here is partnerships and love. And it says nature spirits. So a lot of the times when we're in a relationship and we're trying, we're awakened and our partner is not, and we're trying to increase our spirituality and we're trying to connect to our intuition and our partner is not. Sometimes that holds us back because we're fearful of what the relationship is going to end up like. If I move forward and they don't, what's that going to look like? So we might be fearful here of any relationships and this doesn't even have to just be romantic. It could be family. What are they going to think of me? You know, be very honest with yourself about the fears that you have in pursuing your spiritual journey here by trying to connect to your intuition and, and trying to connect to your spirit guides and all that. And if somebody found out, be proud of it, you know, embrace it. Don't worry about what other people think because a lot of people will be following in your footsteps. There is a huge awakening. I can feel it. This year into next year, there's a huge awakening shift happening. And don't worry about what other people think because if they're not on board now, I guarantee at some point they're going to be. And then you're going to have a head up and then a heads up and then you can help them get to where they need to be. And they're going to know that they want to come to you because they've seen this. They've seen how you've changed. So partners and love, partnerships and love. Um, and then you've got the rest. So again, back to improving your health and like, you know, go, go, go. Make sure you're taking the time for you. Make sure you're resting. Make sure you're sleeping. Make sure you're taking care of your body. Um, the easiest way to connect is when you're resting, right? I always say, like, talk to your spirit guides right before you go to bed because a lot of the times, I mean, I'm a dreamer. They come to me in my dreams. I woke up the other night and I was like, what the heck was that about? You know, so, you know, ask them and you've got to ask them. Ask them to come to you. Ask them. Spirit guides in love and light, can you please come to me tonight and help me blah, 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 or help me see you? Can you please show yourself to me? Um, but you've got to quiet it down. You've got to, you've got to give your body some rest. You've got to take care of yourself. You've got to take care of your mind. What's going on in your mind right now? Is it racing? Because if it's racing, it's going to be harder to connect. All right, so I hope that resonates with you. Let me know in the comments below how it resonates and if you like the spread. Also, let me know if you have any questions about your intuition and connection. Like, what are you struggling with? Let me know so I can help you. Um, and hopefully I can take some of those questions into the workshop with me so I can go over that as well. Um, so yeah, so if you're interested in joining me in the workshop, which I hope that you are, if you're really interested in connecting, this isn't like one of those fluff things where I'm like, oh yeah, you're gonna do this. No, it's gonna happen. So um the description, the link is in the description. I can never get that right. The link is in the description and in the comments. Check it out. Let me know what you guys think or if you have any questions um, and check out the monthlies. If not, I will see you guys uh, next month. Much love. Bye.